Hey guys, welcome back, it's Lauren, and today we're gonna do another update for my Supernatural Project Pan. This project was created by Jessica and Amanda, so of course they're gonna be listed down below. And this is basically where we talk about all things Supernatural, the TV show. So we are doing a product for every single episode of every single season of Supernatural, which there's a lot. So um, I am still in season two, so let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so it has been probably, I think, a little over a month since I filmed the last one. So we have four empties, which is really good because we only have six products in this project at all times. Okay, so for the seventh episode, this is called The Usual Suspects. And this is where they get blamed for murder and they have this girl in the white dress, blah, blah, blah. If you want the full, like, meaning behind each episode or whatever... You can check my previous one. I'll go ahead and list the previous one up here. But um, I picked the H2O Beauty Oasis Quench the Day Hydrating Mist. And this one's been in here for about two months. And I made some really good progress this time. And I think the packaging only goes up. Like there's a dome down here. So I think the packaging only goes up to about here. So I didn't do too terribly much more than usual. But I ended up just using this. As like my essence step um, in my skincare routine because I just need to get through some of my mist. It was like a can. Ooh, there's a little bit in there. There, it is like a continuous mist, so I really liked that. But it was a very aggressive, you know, continuous mist. So nothing that I would repurchase. It was just like it instantly like soaked your face. Okay, for the tenth episode, this is called Hunted. And this is where they have the electrocution guy. So, of course, I picked the YSL The Shock Mascara. So, I think this one has been in here for at least two or three months. And I, it's, like, getting hard to open. It's getting kind of stuck. But the product, I have, like, put some eye drops in there. So, I mean, I could, I might be able to get, you know, another month out of here, but I've already had it open for at least three or four months. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it done. It's a decent mascara, but it's nothing that I would like go out and purchase. If I got another one, I would use it, but it just, it was a good hourglass wand, but it couldn't, it didn't like grasp my like bottom lashes and I have pretty long lashes. So for it to not really do much, eh. I used it more for like a mascara topper. So if I needed just a, like a little bit more oomph in my mascara, then that's what I used it for. So there's that. Okay, episode 13 is called Houses of the Holy. And this episode is all about the, these people are, think that they are getting visited by these angels and telling them to carry out God's will and basically killing these bad people. So of course I had to pick the Catherine Year KVD Vegan Beauty Saint Perfume. And well, this is what it was. I finished it. If you like, you can watch my last empties video. I finished this, but then when I put it in the bag to like wait for this update, the, the packaging, the, all the glass broke. So I'll, this is all I have to show you. But I mean, I liked this perfume. It was very, of course, light and fresh, but it's nothing that I would go out and purchase, but I would definitely use it again if I had one. It was just a very light, clean, fresh scent. Okay, the 14th episode and our last empty is episode Born Under a Bad Sign. So this episode was about um, Sam being possessed, and when you're possessed, you have those black eyes. So I picked something with black packaging, and this is the Lancome Tinted Dull Ultra Wear Foundation mini but this again is I liked this foundation but I have to be at a point right now I have like almost 70 foundations if a foundation doesn't absolutely blow my socks off then I'm not going to purchase it and this one was good and Lauren back in the day okay like a year or two ago would have definitely purchased this one but I need to calm down so I have it in the shade 140, which was a little dark for me. So I would have definitely, you know, gone down. But this is not a bad foundation. It's just doesn't wow me. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the products that are still in this project. 
and for the 12th episode which is night shifter and this is where they have the shape shifter at the bank and um silver you know coins bank and uh silver is what kills a shape shifter so of course i picked something with silver a little bit of a silver packaging <laughs> this is the victoria's secret sexy little things noir scented body mist and i'm just not a body mist person i like to wear perfume i only like to spray once so like i don't i want it to last like i only spray like respray if I feel like I need it like if I'm at work or something like that so I don't get a lot of use out of body mist so I wanted to put in a project so that I could start to use it because I really only use this if I'm running a quick errand or I'm going to the gym or you know something where you don't really need a strong scent but you want to have a little something on you and so this is where we started and this is where we're at right now. Hopefully you guys can see that. I mean, I think this is still going to take me at least, at least two, but probably three months to go through this. Yeah, probably three months. I, and I mean, this is only 2.5 fluid ounces, but you know, it is what it is. It's going to take a little while. It's a good scent. I would say it's more kind of musky, a musky floral, which are my like, I'll go ahead and spray some, which are my kind of scents or maybe, yeah, musky kind of floral. It's good. I don't know if I would have purchased it in a perfume, but it is a good one. I think I like their bombshell line a little bit better. I do have that one in a perfume and a body spray, so I would just purchase that one or over this one and then for episode 15 which is tall tales this is all about the trickster on the college campus so i wanted to pick a product that was tricky so one that you think that you can pan fast but in reality it's slow so i picked a concealer um because i always feel like i can fly through concealers but it still takes me months to go through a concealer so especially this one because it's too dark so I have to end up mixing this. So I literally only put like one dot here, one dot here, and then I'll put like my other concealer, which is a little bit too light. So it ends up working out good. This is more of like my skin tone. So if I have any blemishes or anything like that, I can cover this up. It's the Mary Kay Perfecting Concealer in Light Beige. And I am light ivory or deep ivory, one of those. So, uh, uh, we're, we're getting there. I feel like, I don't know if we would have it. Literally, the only thing is what's on half of this side because I left it sitting, like, laying down. So, there's literally only a tiny bit covering this side over here. So, we'll either have it done by next up update or the stopper will definitely be out. So, it just, like... If it was my normal everyday concealer, I would definitely have it done. But since I can literally only use like one dot each time, it's going slower. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the products that we're gonna roll in. So for episode 16, this is called Roadkill. And this is basically where back in the day, they had this girl. Well, we don't know this at the time, but back in the day, they there was this girl and her husband. They accidentally ran over this farmer. So once a year, this ghost, this girl comes back and she gets haunted by this other ghost. And so Sam and Dean think that they almost like ran over this girl. They're, they think everything's happening in real life and they're trying to find her husband and all this kind of stuff. And they were getting chased by this farmer. So basically her ghost kept coming back because she couldn't let go of her husband. So I wanted to pick a product that I couldn't let go of or it's like really hard for me. And that is my Elizabeth and James Nirvana bourbon dry shampoo. And I absolutely love this. It does leave a white cast, but I just love it because of the smell and it does a really good job. It just leaves a little bit of white cast. So I like to use this, um, if I'm going to like at the very, very beginning of me like getting ready in the day. So it's got some time to sink in or the night before. And I, 
just love this so much. Um, I have the perfume to go with this, but this has been discontinued. So I'm like savoring this bottle and I have gone through one before and I have a backup. So I need to go ahead and use this one. And I don't think there's too terribly much. I think there's only about like right here. So I'm just like been hoarding it for that much. So I think we can get this done. If I use this solely as my dry shampoo for the month, I think we can get this done in a month. Okay, episode 17 is called Heart. And this is where they're, it's all about a werewolf and they don't know who the werewolf is, but it ends up being a girl werewolf and it's got a really cute love interest story in there as well. And I love the actress that's in there. Um, she was in, uh, oh, what is that show? Um, so anyways, werewolf, they're very hairy. So I wanted to pick a hair product. This is the Living Proof Prime Style Extender. And this is a one fluid ounce container. Um, it's like a, the tr their travel size, I think. Uh, but anyways, I got this as like a free perk. I haven't even used it. So I, I'm marking it like up here, like it's brand new. So I'm almost done with the like styling product that I'm using right now. I think I might have like a couple more uses in it. So I, as soon as that's done, I'll go ahead and start on this. I love all of the Living Proof products, like the smell to it, except for their aerosol cans. Whatever, if anything is in an aerosol can, I can't do it. It literally like chokes you. I don't know why. The perfume in that is just so strong, but though in all of their styling products, A plus. So I've never tried this one before, so we'll see. We'll see how it works. Usually the one ounce products, I think take me about two months to go through. So hopefully this will only be in here for a couple months, but you know, we'll see since I can't use it right away. And then episode 18 is called Hollywood Babylon. So this is where they are on set and in Hollywood, they are filming a horror film and they're having people getting murdered or killed. And they don't know, they think it's like the ghost of, because of the, you know, whole horror, horror film and everything like that. So of course I picked the Cover Effects Blurring Primer and this is just a mini as well. And this is kind of like a two-parter, so you can come at it both ways. You can either go with the Hollywood glam, you wanna look flawless, so the blurring part, blurring out your imperfections, or because it is a horror film, you always have all of the FX makeup and all of the stuff to make them look all gory and bloody and all that kind of stuff, so cover FX, so I thought this was just perfect. So, cause it had like both of them in there. So anyways, um, I'm pretty sure I can get this done um, by next update. And cause it's just a mini and these usually take me about, you know, a month to go through. And then the last product um, is episode 19, which is Folsom Prison Blues. And this is where there is a ghost in the prison and it is killing these inmates. And they have some relationship with the, like one of the, prison guards or I think it's a prison guard and so he come in he's asking them for help so of course Sam and Dean you know get in prison they have to do something to get in prison and they find this the ghost and they solve the mystery and blah 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 but a uh, little side note the FBI which have it like have it out for Dean especially. They find out that he's in prison and they are doing everything they can to like extradite him and like get him for like for real. And so then they have to try to like hurry up and figure all of it out and get out, sneak out because otherwise they are for real going to get in trouble. So there we go. So anyways, Folsom Blues. So I picked of course a product that has a dual meaning too. It is the Skin Fix Barrier, because of jail, barrier, you know, uh, lipid peptide cream. And of course it's in a blue packaging. So I thought that was a really good one as well. Um, this, I think I've been using this for about four days now. So it's pretty, it's pretty full up there. Uh, this is what it looks like. So we're pretty, we're pretty full. Hopefully this will only take me a month and a half 
maybe maybe two months so hopefully we'll get uh, so hopefully we'll get that done and I was really excited about trying this one because I know Hiram and a lot of other people like highly recommend this for people who have really dry skin and it is a very thick cream I don't know how I feel about it because I like thicker creams but I want them to have a little bit of a slip to them so they I don't feel like I'm tugging at my skin. And this one doesn't have, I feel like, enough slip to it. Gives good hydration, but I don't know. I'm still out on the fence. Then again, I've only tried it like four times, so I will hopefully have a better opinion by it next time. All right, so that's gonna be it for this update. Um, Hopefully, I can come back in another month and it won't be like two months like we've been doing. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will just see you guys in the next one. Bye.